Matthew chapter 19, verse 17. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is Yahweh. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, for giving me the spirit to do this video. In Matthew 19, verse 17, I'm going to read it again. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is Yahweh. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Yahweh Shai was very humble. Okay? And that's who we need to be like. Yahweh Shai was very humble. Even though he did all the miracles, okay, he was perfect, walking on the scene, all right, perfect in faith, perfect in everything, man. With all the wisdom and the knowledge and the blessings, okay, that Yahweh gave Yahweh Shai, he still humbled himself and said, hey, why call us me good? There is only one good, and that is Yahweh. Now, why did he say that? Because Yahweh Shai didn't create himself. And the works that Yahweh Shai was doing, it was the spirit of the father, Yahweh, that was dwelling in Yahweh Shai, which is why he was able to do those works and do those miracles, man, and have that wisdom. And we got to be the same way, okay? You might come up with a magnificent breakdown, all right, and be on point and be on fire. At the end of the day, who you give praises to, who you give the glory to, you give the glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, not yourself, okay? Not yourself. And that's what Yahweh Shai was doing at that moment when he said, why well, call us me good? And that's what we got to do, man. Remember, the things that are written are written for our learning. So we got to know that no matter how much knowledge Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai gives us, okay, to be a light to the world, okay, we have to always stay humble and understand that it's the mercy and it's the grace given to us. It's why we're able to do these things, man. It's not of ourselves. Let's go to John 14, verse 10. Believest thou not that I am in the Father and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself. But the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Right, he doeth the works. That's why... Yahweh Shai said, why call me good? There is only one good, which is Yahweh. Why? Because he's the one that's doing this in me, man. Because he dwells in me. And I in him and him in me. Okay? That's why I'm able to turn water to wine, to heal the sick, walk on water, show you all these miracles that I'm doing, man, and all this wisdom and knowledge that I'm spreading among you. It's because of the Father, Yahweh. Okay? And once again, that's how we got to approach it. You all know how it's in byways. You putting together all these lessons. It's not because of yourself, man. So don't get too full of yourself and puffed up because we know that knowledge can puff you up. But you got to check yourself whenever you start getting puffed up, okay, when you have those moments, especially brothers that's very young in the truth. Like I'm talking about like one year, six months, three months, okay, a month. You can learn a lot, man, in a matter of a couple weeks, man, with all these lessons all across YouTube, man. There's thousands and thousands of lessons of edification, man, of knowledge to learn. So a young brother might get puffed up because he know a couple of scriptures and he know a couple of deep breakdowns. But guess what? Whether he know them or not, you're supposed to give the glory to your how about you have a shot? Because that's the only way that you're able to understand and able to see. That's why your shot told the disciples, blessed are your eyes because your eyes see. It was my father that revealed it to you. So you have to remember that, Aki, all across the world, man. Stay humble. From there, let's go to Romans 12, verse 3. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. Not to, okay? Meaning what? It's not you that's doing the work. It's Yahweh Bashan Abba Shai. It's a spirit that's doing the work within you, man, to the world. So that you may glorify Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Not to glorify yourselves. This is not to glorify yourselves, man. Okay? We know it's wonderful, man, to have a lot of knowledge. It feels good to understand dark things that the world don't understand. Okay? You feel special. You feel blessed. But you don't think of yourself beyond what you ought to think. Let me read it again. Start from the beginning. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, 
but to think soberly, according as Yahweh had dealt to every man the measure of faith. Right, to think soberly, man, meaning understand. If you're thinking soberly, then you understand that it's not you. It's the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Abishai that's dwelling within you, which is a blessing and is a gift. The gift of faith. Like it said at the end of the verse, the measure of faith. That's a gift. Okay? It's not you. That's why you don't think of yourself beyond what you need to think of yourself. Okay? You respect your brethren. Okay? And you understand that, hey, this might be an elder. He's above me in the spirit. This brother knows more of the Hebrew. This brother knows more of the history. Okay? Brothers have different measures in different areas, okay? And a lot of the same areas as well. But we don't think of each other beyond who we are, okay? We all give the glory to Yahweh Bashim Abishai. And that's it, okay? From there, let's go to Galatians chapter 6, starting at 3. For if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiving himself. But let every man prove his own work. And then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. For every man shall bear his own burden. Right. So just do your own work, man. Prove yourself. Work out your salvation with fear and trembling, as the Lord says. Okay. And hope for mercy, man. That through your works and through your faith, that you escape the plagues and the destruction that's coming upon the world. Mercy and grace. That's what you got to pray for every day, day in and day out, man. Not glorifying yourself. But give praise to Yahweh Bashim Abishai as much as possible, man, more and more, okay? And always pray that he sustains you and keeps you doing the work and keeps you stacking up treasures in heaven, okay? It's all about giving glory to Yahweh Bashim Abishai, okay? All the Akim around the world is teaching the truth. They claim to be a prophet. You got to be in his mind state, all right? With that, I want to say, Tawada, Yahweh Bashim Abishai, for giving me spirit to this video, Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom, I'm telling you, I'll come out to this in the truth and sincerity. Shalom.